Hey and welcome, it's Carnage and we are taking a look at a kit bash today. It is <clears throat> the G.I. Joe classified red ninja and blue ninja kit bashed with Marvel Legends Inner Demon. Stick around. Let's get into it. All right, these are the three Inner Demon head sculpts that are included with the uh, Negative Man Inner Demon set, Marvel Legends set. I was uh, lucky to find just the three Inner Demon head sculpts on eBay for $12.99. And I figured I would take a chance, and um, I have to say... They exceeded my expectations, especially for $12.99. You may not be lucky enough to find those for that price, but I'm going to tell you uh, why I like these. Uh, as a photographer, these uh, really do spice up my ninjas. I've got, um, I troop build up to six. So this really gives me some very interesting options for uh, my ninjas. And uh, I can literally have a different head on all six ninjas if I want to, uh, which is pretty, pretty exciting, pretty sweet, really, when you think about it. So two of these head sculpts are a... Uh, bald-headed guy with a strap going across the back which is great and um, as you can see it's not a mask it's a head sculpt the top was kind of a flat thing which is a little <clears throat> anticlimactic but I think it's kind of cool this mask really doesn't doesn't really need anything else um, it makes me think of the um, Japanese kabuki masks, and it even uh, puts me in mind of the wrestler, the great kabuki. Those of us who were around in the 70s and 80s to uh, remember the great kabuki. So, of course, uh, the uh, natural question would be, do these heads fit snugly on this body and they do it's absolutely perfect absolutely perfect they can uh, they can be posed and they do not pop off it is on there <clears throat> and it ain't going nowhere all right let's move on to the next one okay this is the largest and uh, the most dramatic of the three masks. He's got big horns. He's got, what, four horns. And then these two little, maybe, pre-horns pre getting ready to pop up there. And uh, he's got big, scary teeth, a big old flat nose, and a really long head. And um, this guy is different from the other two because he's got hair <clears throat> as opposed to the bald heads. And as you can see, he does have that strap. It's kind of hidden because the guy's got a lot of hair. But that strap is there. You can see it. I love it. I think that just looks great. Um, as I said, this this is a large, dramatic mask, and um, definitely the largest, most dramatic of the three. Um, <clears throat> I tried it on the red body, and I just thought this one looked a bit better on the blue, as opposed to um, the other two. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. 
And this is the third and final Inner Demon head sculpt. Uh, and like the last one, he's got four horns, and then he's got two other kind of cameraman. I'm gonna have to find the cameraman for that. Uh, as I say, he's got four horns, and then he's got these two other uh, protrusions from the side of his head, and then he's got even these two uh, smaller horns down on the bottom part of his face, on the chin, big white eyeballs, and again, big scary teeth. This would be another very dramatic kabuki mask. And um, like the first, he is another bald-headed dude with the strap going across his head. Obviously, no hair to uh, cover that up. The detail of the skin to the mask is really great. And it leaves absolutely nothing to be desired. Um, I would say that these head sculpts are not what you'd probably want to just put on your red or blue ninjas just willy-nilly. I think these are kind of special head sculpts. And, um, you know, this could be a, a, special, a special team or even for some sort of a uh, ceremonial purpose or a hunt. Who knows, but uh, I think they kind of, to me, they sort of um, would uh, suppose that it's some special purpose, whether that's a special hunt or a holiday is entirely up to the user. So I don't know that I would recommend going out and paying the full retail for whatever that set costs, because I'm thinking it's probably about 50 bucks. So I would uh, certainly try to find these head sculpts on eBay if you're lucky enough to find all three of them together like I did. I've seen them um, individually uh, available as well. And I have to say, this one is probably my favorite of the three. So if I were gonna hunt one down um, and only get one, I'd probably get this one. But uh, if you're into these and um, you want them bad enough, I think you'll probably be able to find them without cracking the eggs on that uh, double set. But I can't recommend these highly enough. As I said, they really they, they fit absolutely perfect. The uh, articulation is everything that you would expect from a G.I. Joe classified figure. And... Um, I think stylistically there's a little bit of a disconnect between the Marvel Legends style and the classified style, but man, these really work for me. So um, I would give these a 10 of 10 as far as uh, photography uses and uh, highly recommend that set. There are a few Marvel Legends that I use for my uh, background civilians, but uh, by and large, I don't really pull Marvel Legends into my classifieds per se. I used to make some customs and use a lot more in the past, but these days uh, I can only think that I use really one, and that's uh, the head sculpt that I'm using for unmasked barbecue. And uh, I get into that on another video. So if you dig dioramas, you dig toy photography, and you're into G.I. Joe Classified, I hope you will consider subscribing. I hope you'll hit the like button. And thanks so much for watching.